ADHD is not what you think it is. It is not a disorder of hyperactivity. It is not even a disorder of focusing. We know that those that have ADHD can focus, right? We know that sometimes they focus on something too long and it's the wrong thing, right? How many of you out there have said, I've spent too much time focusing, running, going down the rabbit hole on my computer, right? Surfing the internet, they say, or playing video games if you have a child at home. So we do know how to focus, but not always on the right thing with the right amount of energy or cadence or all of those things. ADHD is actually a self-regulation disorder. It's about being able to do what it is we need to do at the right time, with the right energy, the right focus, with not being distracted, with the right cadence. All those things have to line up. It's basically because it's an executive functioning disorder. Because here's what we need to know. Your executive functions, which are housed in the front of your brain, it's your frontal lobe, acts as the conductor of you. It controls how you act. So what does that mean? It controls your organizing, your time management, your effort level, your focusing or distractibility, however you want to look at it, your mood regulation. If you're stuck, frustrated, angry, explosive, all of that is your executive function. Your working memory, which is remembering to remember something. And your impulsivity, or what I like to call it, self-leadership. Being aware that I'm doing something that I should and maybe be doing at that moment. And along with that is planning and prioritizing and motivation. All of that are your executive functions. So we say that ADHD is an executive functioning disorder because to have see. all your executive functions do what they need to do, you need to be self-regulated. Now, here's the fun fact, because I always bring a fun fact to a party. Okay, here's your fun fact. If you are diagnosed with ADHD, you automatically have executive dysfunction. They go hand in hand. There's no buts. Don't ask, but, but no buts. There's no, there's nothing. What A here equals B, right? ADHD, executive dysfunction. However, here's the fun fact. If you're diagnosed, you can be diagnosed with executive dysfunction, meaning Weak working memory, time blindness, um, you know, major distractibility. I'm just giving you some things that maybe you might have heard. So if you are diagnosed with executive dysfunction, you can have executive dysfunction and not have ADHD. And that's huge, which is why in my world, and for some of you even might have children, you're hearing more and more the term executive dysfunction because more and more of us are being diagnosed with that than ADHD. And mm -hmm. we're talking more about executive functions because they tell the story. They're way, way more detailed and granular. If I'm a, if I'm a parent, let's say, and my kid is, and I've been told my kid is ADHD, that doesn't really tell me what it is my student, my child is struggling with. But if I've if I'm told my kid has some executive functioning challenges, and his time, time awareness is lacking, or his working memory is very weak, or he has a very hard time sustaining effort, now I know what it is that's really challenging him, and that helps me figure out what I can do to support and strengthen those executive functions. <sighs> okay, that was an hour webinar in about three minutes. Did I Amazing, good job. That makes sense. I'm hoping it really made sense.